I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. Come on! I like having fun. Good. Yes, I like Good. to laugh. Hey, I like Rocky having fun. Oh. We will rock you. Well. Rock you. Well. Good morning, everybody. We will rock you. That's our plan today, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Office Hours. It is I. I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. Push it, guys. Push it to the limit. I need everybody at 10,000% this morning. We need to wake this country up. We need to wake this world up. We are living on this beautiful marble, this blue marble. And we're all stuck here together. We're not getting off this planet anytime soon. We gotta learn to live together. That's my message today. Can we come together? Can I get together with everybody right now and say, let's have peace and harmony. Let's have total, total world peace. Let us control, let us take back the power. Let us take back the power. Good morning, Doug. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon if you're calling in or if you're listening on the East Coast. Good evening. Good evening if you're calling, uh, if you're looking looking at us right now in Scotland, Wales, Netherlands. And welcome back to the studio, to the one, the only, one of the greats, one of the pioneers of the new comedy. We talk about old comedy when you look at things like Stooges and, and uh, even some of the John Candy movies and... Uh, you know, SNL. The germ has gotten so brilliant. Okay. <laughs> this, is this, nuke. This, is nuke. this is nuke. This is nuke. <laughs> this is nuke. This is nuke. This is nuke comedy 2.0. It it's Vic that, Berger, and he's back. He's positive. Hello, everybody. I'm happy. I'm that he's negative. Yeah, he's positive. <laughs> positively that negative. And it was, it was a close call, but nothing uh, got into my veins, and I'm breathing just clean air right now. <laughs> well, so, you're not breathing clean air uh, in this room. Well, no, that's a little, yeah, I have had there. terrible gas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vic, how is your neighbor doing? Are they um, uh, on their last breath? Or? Yeah, they, the husband and wife still have it, and they think the daughter might have it. Nice, uh, but uh, but, they're, but they're doing okay. They're all right. We're keeping away from them. And, Are they symptomatic? Uh, a little bit. They were like like a few days ago, but they're doing okay now. I've never all felt right. better, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. I've been doing proactive uh, treatments. And I've been oh, doing steroids. Talk. Uh, regular guys don't talk <laughs> like that. Uh, we have a terrific show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you I for listening. If you're listening on the podcast format, we gr- we graciously appreciate that. And we thank all our patrons who support our show every single day. They get so many toys and treats, the patrons, at patron.com <laughs> slash Office Hours Live. They got the sneak peek of the music video property, which is now, if Matt was telling me, is blowing up on the internet. Apparently, it's the number one video of all time. The pounding. <laughs> and they're saying it's going to be more important and actually more uh, sort of enjoyed than videos like Thriller and Beat It oh, and the rest. Oh, and Like oh, a Virgin oh, from oh, Madonna. Oh, <laughs> Which was also a video that we all uh, remember. It's going to be more enjoyed than Like a Virgin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's going to be a bigger video than the one with Christopher Walken dancing through the hotel with his ah. suit on. What was that one? Fat Boy Slim? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, my video is just Fat Boy. <laughs> Nothing slim about it. Huh? Uh, we're going to be talking to the director of that video later in the show and into After Hours. Uh, we're also going to be talking with James Adomian and... Uh, he's going to be giving us the latest in, on the Armenian situation, the Armenian uh, Kazakhstan. No, no, is it Kazakhstan? Okay. Kazakhstan? Uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, Azerbaijan. Azer- yes. Pardon me, I'm thinking of Borat. Ah! Uh, the, I've already forgotten it again. What is it now? The Azerbaijan. 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 You depend on our protection. There's some kind of conflict going there. And with James Adomian, obviously he's got some kind of Armenian roots, I with a name like Adomian, he's going to help us find a bridge. Computers! And of course, we are also thankful and grateful and send grateful thanks to Vic Berger for providing us with these strange hats. <laughs> but they're, they're the official, uh, we're going to get to that? Is that the official? I will announce the official okay. hat shortly. 
<laughs> just thought it might be a good lead up to it. It would be under normal circumstances, <laughs> but we are living in extraordinary uh, times. Um, up for not up for discussion today will be Doug. City of the day. No. City of- <laughs> <laughs> not up for discussion will be I, the fly. We don't want to hear anything about oh, the fly. Right. I don't care about the fly. Mm-hmm. Everyone got through that. It happened. It was what it was. What about is? I told everybody last night I didn't watch the debate. I have no interest in it. I voted already. There's nothing anybody can say to change that. I watched baseball. I watched the Dodgers get out of a close one. And boy, let me tell you, that was an extremely stressful and meaningless four hours of my life. I have so many funny fly jokes that no one's thought of You have of to yet. delete them or do them on your own podcast. What about... What about... Uh, I can barely see the road from the heat coming off. Man. Van Halen news. This well, I want to talk about Van Halen with my other guest today, Matt Sweeney. Matt Sweeney... Let's get that out of my ear. <laughs> now, if I was a human being, I'll do one minute on the fly, okay? Yeah, yeah. Since I can't go to the comedy store and do my fly chunk. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a human being, I'm feeling that, I'm hearing it, I'm going, get out of here, fucking yeah. fly. And have a moment. Have a moment of, uh, of humanity where we all buzz flies away. I get eaten alive by mosquitoes where I live oh, right yeah. now. You must know that, Vic, being That's, living here on the Heidecker compound. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I put you on mosquito yeah. control, Damn, and I've asked you to go up. around and <laughs> spray me and swat me. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here, you gnat. And it does no good. No, it doesn't work. I mean, it gets you, but then they just more come back. You know? I'm walking the around mighty. on the phone on meetings, and he's got that spray can of off. This yes. yes. slapping Tim. Yes. Not, not, in my, not in my face, Vic. Please. Damn, I gotta get to the comedy store. <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. Um, yes, yeah, so we want to talk about the uh, the new f- uh, <laughs> fraternal fraternal organization of men. That we've started now, the reasonable men. I've had many people contact me asking how they can join. And it's not going to be hard. We have officialofficehours.com. We have a mailing list uh, submission button there at the bottom of that website. We're, we're still, s- and it's cost, cost $150 to join. <laughs> let me let that sink in. It's $150 a month to join. <laughs> a month. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're excited about it because we are really the first international men's organization to really define ourselves and create a contrast between what, what the Proud Boys stand for and what the reasonable men stand for. I'll go through our code of ethics very quickly. And again, this is an open code, so we can, we can add amendments to it. We could actually create a Bill of Rights here. Um, the code as it stands now, and this has not been codified or voted on in any way. So Vic or Doug, if you want to, or Matt, if you want to throw in any any additional things that can be up for debate or discussion, I'd also like to. <laughs> that's good. Your this instincts is the official are, song. Yeah, is your right. instincts are correct. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the official reasonable men code of ethics, like when a bad comedy sketch. Code of ethics are as follows. I will choose if and when I masturbate. My masturbating will only take place in reasonable places like bathrooms or bedrooms, either alone or with someone who has given me permission. Little carving out a little caveat there so we don't get accused of anything inappropriate. A little bit of salt goes on the balls. <laughs> ah, but this one. I don't think anyone's going to have a problem with this one. I will not beat up my friends. <laughs> I consider any and all violence an act of last resort. I look to resolve conflict through reasonable discussion, and I don't take seriously any notion of race theory or eugenic quack science. But, but okay. Beating up friends, though, I mean, shouldn't it be just anybody, though? Well, like then the friends, second... Oh, the, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the second is I consider any and all violence an act of last resort. I don't want to say that, you know, if, somebody's, if someone yeah. comes at me with a baseball bat that I'm just going to okay. sit there and take it like a Quaker. God bless him. The pounding. <laughs> Shabbat uh, shalom. So I, I want to just, because one of the Proud Boys code of eth- or codes or, or rules mm-hmm. is that they beat the, beat each other up as some sort of hazing, pro- right? They right, have to, to name all the these serials. Right. 
So if you want to join the reasonable men, and also by the Wait, way, what we, about that? What about uh, collecting collateral? Um, you know, naked, naked photos and <laughs> no, there's none of that. None of that blackmail. And, oh, we're not doing that. No, there's okay. no blackmail. Because I, I was watching that Nexium thing. I thought it was a great thing that they were doing. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that. I was trying to find the downside in any of that. I couldn't identify anything. Anything I disagreed yeah, with. People. Um, if you want to join, I'd like to formally nominate Phil Braun to be our our Southern Outreach uh, leader. I've not point. reached Phil? out to him before this. I Phil? don't know if he's going to agree to it. Phil? <laughs> so, Phil? Phil, I don't know if he still watches the show. But. <laughs> and by the way, women are invited to join. Uh, gay, trans, bi, whatever you are, however you identify, uh, you are welcome to be uh, join the Reasonable Men, and we can even vote on changing the name. I played a gay man li li what is that doo wop song? Little or pretty little angel eyes. Little little angel eyes. Dong little little angel eyes. Little 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 angel eyes. And the super chat is open, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you care to send us a few dollars, if you're not a patron, if you don't believe in the monthly subscription format, then you can always throw us a dollar, two dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you feel is comfortable. I, of course, am not the Adam Craigler type. I'm not the Tim Pool type where I'm going to be going on and on and on about it. It's not the point of the show to rake in cash from you. That is the point of the Tim Pool show. Wow. Is to oh, Tim, uh, this stupid audience. So dumb. <laughs> as far as the reasonable men and women, as far as uh, the we, visual men and women, we we may, we wear these hats. I guess that would be part of the mm -hmm. part of the look. Well, there is some How about talk. The hats are optional. Maybe there is wear some them, wear them if yeah. you'd like. Mm -hmm. There is some talk about making these pith style hats, these straw fireman <laughs> hats, the official reasonable men shirt. And there's a lot of debate and discussion about that going on right now, amongst the uh, potential candidates. Could be just like a color shirt, like any kind of shirt, but just has a cer <laughs> certain color. No, I, well, you not, keep. You know what? Yeah. You guys keep on trying to add rules. I'm right. saying no rules. Okay. Wear whatever you want. Be whoever you want to be. Uh, if you like the Grateful Dead, listen to the Grateful Dead. If you like Mike Love's solo work, listen to Mike Love's solo work. Has he ever done a solo album, Vic? Yes. Do you want to hear a song from it? Of course, and I know you have it ready to go. Yeah, I do. Uh, where is it? Boo, 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 boo. Well, let's get to City of the Day. Have that for. Oh, this isn't it. All right, that's enough of that because we're going to get flagged. I like how he just sounds yeah. like Brian Wilson when he sings. He kind of you know, sounds like Mike. Did he, he's, did he he's develop that vocal style? He's the nasally guy in the Beach Boys. Right. And then, yeah. When you're when you hear Beach when you hear Mike Will, Mike uh, I mean uh, Brian Wilson, that's the high one. Yeah. He's singing high. Yeah. Mike's supposed to be the bass man in the group, but he doesn't have a real low voice. <laughs> <laughs> they should have got Vin Diesel. Speaking of that. You see that rainbow behind me? It's a yeah. sign of brighter days to come. Brighter I hear uh, come. that uh, barbershop quartets are now opening. Quartwart. <laughs> Quartwart. Are, are they? Barbershop right. quartets uh, are now quiet opening. Now. <laughs> um, quiet. Chess. Chess. We have to get, I have to turn my uh, notifications off, please. I'm getting binged and bonged with messages that you luckily can't hear. But city of the day, ladies and gentlemen, city of the day. City of the day. City, city of the day becoming one of the most popular day. segments in Office Hours history, from what I've been hearing. The city of the day is brought to you by Bidet Mate. Bidet Mate. Using a bidet is a great way to clean your backside, but you can't see what you're doing sometimes, right? But I might. You're just spraying blindly and hoping that you're hitting all the right spots, and most of the time, you just miss some stuff. Well, say goodbye to that, mate, because now there's Bidet Mate. Bidet Mate. Just download the Bidet Mat Mate app, and one of our qualified hosemen will arrive within minutes anytime you need a cleaning down under. Bidet Mate. That's right, our hosemen will operate the Bidet for you. They'll even bring your own their own hose if you don't have one. So Bidet, mate. No worries, mate. There won't be any Vegemite left on your outback when they're done with it. And the beast pot. <laughs> <laughs> Our hosemen all have Australian accents. We we even wipe your droid 
for, for free, mate. Bidet, mate. <laughs> so download the Bidet Mate app now. Our fleet of hosemen are circling your area, ready to have a bit of cheeky fun 24 hours a day. Wait, Bidet, mate. but there's more. If you're ever in a place such as a Hungry Jack's or out there in the bush where it's not convenient for Bidet Mate hosemen, we now offer the Boomerang Rang Remover Portable Bidet. Bidet, mate. It's shaped like a boomerang, so any bogan can use it. Just go to bidetmate.com slash office hours. You get your first number twos hosed for free. Golly. Bidet, mate. Uh, I forgot to mention that the Bidet Mate guarantees that no dingo berries will you be left. <laughs> Bidet, mate. You forgot to mention. I, f- I forgot to mention that. You did. You I, did not forget. You just mentioned. Correct? I, mean, I forgot correct? to write it. <laughs> And Doug always, always likes to remind the audience that these are his <laughs> ideas. <laughs> well, no, I was Very thinking unsubtly. about. I was thinking about. Anyway, whatever. I love it. Bidai might. <laughs> we love Bidai your creativity. Might. The bidai might. I, I said to you, I said that's got to be the lowest, beautiful, ripest fruit that's been hanging there in front of us for many years. I didn't Google it because I was worried that somebody else. <laughs> Maybe thought. someone Bidai has. Might. Maybe there's uh, <laughs> the whitest kids you know have already tapped that <laughs> ten years Bidai ago. Bidai might. Uh, anyways. The city of the day, of course, is international. We've gone international. It's an international show. We have no country restrictions. It is Salvador, Brazil. And it's the, uh, I want to thank Trey Curtis, by the way, for remixing the city. Remember, the city of the day music always came in flaccid. It always came in weak. (laughs) That's because I don't know how to mix. I don't know how to master. I can write sort of unforgettable songs. (laughs) <laughs> but can i can i make it sound like you know uh uh let's see i had somebody in mind like, uh, britney spears no who's the guy that did all the nirvana stuff butch vig oh yeah butch vig i butch can't make vig. it sound like butch vig steve albini steve albini steve albino <laughs> <laughs> Steve. That's a weird character. <laughs> should be able to do Steve Albino. <laughs> Just kind of like a real grouchy. What about um, engineer? <laughs> hey Steve, a beanie, please. A beanie. Can I get one? Because I'm cold. Here. Uh, it's cold quit, out. You know, Steve, a beanie. Talk, talk to Tim Pool about that. Yeah. Steve, hey, Steve a beanie. A beanie, please. <laughs> Uh, These are such deep cuts. I wonder if anyone knows this. Oh, this crowd knows Steve Albini. I'd be ashamed if they didn't know Steve Albini. Stud. Um, you know what's bu- bugging me? And I, you know, I, there's this. I don't know if I talked about this la- last week. There's this culture now. This comment culture. Everyone has to tell you what things are like. Oh, that reminds me of a. Uh, this reminds oh, right. me. You remind me of this. That sounds like this. And d- 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 just forget. No one cares what you. What it reminds you of. <laughs> Let's just let it go. If you're waiting for a uh, hug, you might want to pack a lunch. There's a super chat question. What is your favorite Weird Al Yankovic music video? I mean, Doug and hmm. Vic, I'll put that one to you yeah. because that seems important to you. Favorite music video? I mean, the, the early stuff. I mean, I love uh, the the Devo one, Dare to be Stupid. is so cool. Um, I mean, I, my favorite Owl thing is probably the Complete Owl, which is like his, like, mockumentary like early on oh yeah it's, pre- it's pretty good with you've seen like, ltv that yeah that was yeah. Mm-hmm. that's good that's, that's great i saw yeah, but, okay live. as far as music videos i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to probably say fat because was, i mean that's amazing that's yeah, the amazing. one i watched the most oh yeah and i used to quote the most hamburger man mm-hmm. have you ever cheese seen cheese him do like, uh like a surgeon's good too have you ever seen him live i've seen him many times yeah. okay i love how he does uh he does those costume changes and during the costume yeah. changes he shows Clips from like Al TV stuff. Like, uh, the, the first time I saw the because uh, I don't know if I saw McCartney that McCartney was was a live show. Yeah, I don't at, think uh, I State saw Theater that when Allentown. it was on, when it was actually on. Was I don't think so I saw good. it. Um, I think his most underrated video is Taco Grande. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, one? yeah. Taco. It's uh, based man, on Rico, I mean, Rico Suave. Rico Suave. Uh-huh. I didn't. Need, I didn't like. I'll tell you what I didn't. Make I didn't sure like the beans the, are uh, fried. I don't think I needed the uh, the, the Nirvana one. I felt like maybe, yeah. But I mean, you, you got know, it. Hey, I could have done it. a deeper cut. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I mean, do you it. think he still is going to do the MJ stuff li- live now? Is he still? That's a good question. You know? I don't know. We can always ask him privately yeah, offline. Right. Yeah. I. I um, what else is going on? Trump's. Good, but, but, uh, but we should take a zoomer, Matt. I mean, honestly, this is what the show's but built you on. You didn't do the um, the weather though in uh, Brazil. 
Okay. Yes, you're right. That's why everyone's flocking all away from the show. They're flocking over to the to the Josh Gad channel to see what he's who, oh, who he's re reuniting. <laughs> Quick, everybody! Josh Gad is is reuniting uh, the cast of uh, uh, Mannequin. Remember the movie Mannequin. Quick! What are they, What is everybody up to in the cast of Mannequin now? What have they been doing? Oh, yeah, is that where like, the girl is she's from ancient times and then she ends up in sure. a mall or something? Yeah, she's a, yeah. No, she's a, yeah, she's a mannequin. She comes alive. It's a real fish and out of water movie. <laughs> as Ween sings, it was filmed on South Street. Yes, Mannequin was filmed on South Street. So everybody goes, hey, I love your music, man. Hey, just a weird question. Do you like Ween? <laughs> Who cares? Just let it go. Of course Did I do. Did you see Jake Fogelnest? Uh, his clips from Squirt TV when he was a kid. Oh, interviewing those and guys? And he had Ween like, in his bedroom interviewing. It was really nuts. Yeah, mm. it's cool. Wait, I was going to say something about... Uh... The, the unit. The weather? The, the, weather, in, the uh, weather. Oh, God. I apologize. Or I want to take a, a Zoom call. Yeah. Zoom? Yeah. We got a Zoomer. Andrew's got a question for you. Andrew, talk to me. Hey, why'd, you mute it? why'd you mute again, Andrew? Oh, here we are. Oh, hey, can you hear me? Hey, I'm a big fan... Uh... Hey, guys. Hey, how's it um, going? Where are you calling in from? I'm calling from Berlin, actually. Berlin, Germany. Have you been there? I've been there. Yes, I've been there. Yeah, of course. You know, this is I, where, I, where I would like to be right now, you see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on there? What question do you have for me? Quickly. We have many guests today. You see? I had a, I had a question about the, the WOHL show that you guys did. Yes. Yeah, you you had that um, that guy from the World Record podcast on there, you know Brendan Walsh. <laughs> yes, of course, yeah, Brendan Walsh. Guy, yes. we know this man. Yes, of course, Brendan Walsh. Yes, I, I, I've his also wife had a birthday to yesterday. You see? Yeah, I, I I've listened to his podcast a few times, and he kind of does the same thing where I don't really know if the pranks are scripted or if they're not scripted. Yes. Okay. Like I didn't I didn't really understand. Like when he came on here, was he? <laughs> Was that a scripted Dumbass. prank? <laughs> I don't know or care to, to answer the question. Morons. Here's how I'll answer the question in the most diplomatic way. <laughs> I love what Brendan Walsh does. I think he's a funny guy. I've checked out his podcast and I found it really entertaining. As far as who's in on it, who's not in on it, what's scripted, what's not, I'm not comfortable really saying because frankly, I don't know. <laughs> why, why are you in Berlin? Why are you in Berlin? Are you hiding from something? <laughs> are you on the Elbe River, you see? Are you getting some pretzels? It's great over here, though. It's, I mean, it's, it's a great place. I love it over there. What do you do over there? Uh, I'm an improviser. Um, <laughs> I'm an improviser. <laughs> I'm, a, you know, I'm I mean, an I, improviser? I, I, you got to go to Berlin to do that. Yeah. So you perform, like you like perform uh, publicly as an improviser in Berlin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, improv comedy. Like, I did improv in New York, and then I moved out here, and there's actually a really good English-speaking improv <clears throat> uh, community out here, too. So oh, that's cool. Wow. Be lucky, yeah. Do you go to the bars where they poo? <laughs> <laughs> the Scheisse, Scheisse clubs? I love it there. I would love to go back. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thanks Listen, um... I was talking about our dying president to the guys this morning. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's fun. What do you think, Vic? Do you think he's going to make 100% pull? chance he is going to pass away. But do you think we're – he's just – A, do you think he's gotten this medicine that is truly a game changer? Donald Trump! That has changed uh, – that is working for him for whatever reason. Well, yeah, he, got, he clearly got the best care you can get. You know, and That's A. Look, he said no one should worry about it. Because we have the best right. medicine. That's going to be and, free. Or yeah. is it B, that he's on all these drugs that are like basically holding him up? Right. Well, my yeah, my <laughs> understanding is everything that he's on, it works well and it makes you feel like euphoric for like three or four days. <laughs> and he's got his, you know, he's got his steroids going, he's pumping through his veins. And then he's going to have a big crash and it's going to, he's going to get when is that coming? angry. But I, the problem I, is we don't know when he might have, like the, yeah, the, they're, they're being not being honest about, about when it. he might have gotten it. 
Mm-hmm. Um, he t- I'm looking at this video of him now where he's like, in the, he's so far away from yeah. the White House. They're like, sir, we can do this, but you can't be anywhere near the White House. You have to be literally on the other side and we will green screen out the gate. He's, so he's like on the away. street. <laughs> you have that, Matt? You can just I'm see the, that. Shit in the audience. It's a... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, I feel terrible for Chris Christie. Nah. He must be in bad shape. And I feel like nobody, I mean, I don't really, I guess. But Good luck. The guy's so heavy and he's got all other kind. I was reading this New York Post story that said he's, um, he's doing well. He's What's there. He I like the idea of just going to the hospital <laughs> as a precautionary. Who can, who's, who can afford to do that? It, not only financially, but like, you know, time. Like, and just like the logistics of, you know, what? I better just. I mean, it's such smells of such bullshit, right? VIP that, treatment. Yeah, Just getting the, you got to get the therapeutics. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyways, we were talking this morning. And I said, somebody started singing that. He, you know, Chris Christie loves the boss, loves Bruce, mm-hmm. and we wrote a little. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote a little parody. <laughs> this is. Oh, you gotta get in right to it. Okay, here it is. This is what we got. Two verses so far. We can write more later. Is this? Here we go. Here we go. Chris Christie went down to the Rose Garden, breathed the air of Donald Trump, puffed the air right down to his lungs now. Now his ventilator's on full pump. He's going down, 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 down. He's going down, down, down. He's going down, 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 down. He's going down, down, down. He's texting friends, getting calls from Jordanian kings. Hasn't heard a word from the president. No apologies from the West Wing. He's going down, 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 down. He's going down, 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 down. He's going down, 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 down. He's going down, down, down. All right. Wow. It's, it, pretty good. Pretty good parody, speaking of, of Weird Al. Yeah. But it was very hard because, again, the music was too low, and it's hard for me when the mix isn't right to well, do a good, solid us, comedy performance. They, they have us <laughs> turned down, so they keep our drops low. There's a lot of suppression. We're, 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 we're mm-hmm. censored. So that's our, we can do a, maybe Matt will do a professional cut. Why don't you book me some time at Abbey Road? <laughs> and we'll get in there and do our official, he's going down, 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 down. That's what Bruce does at one point. Down, down. I need a little slap back. That sounds like I'm singing in a church. Imagine, that song isn't about sex things, is it? I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> down, down. You saw the video, Bruce goes, I'm going down, 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 down. He sings it like that <laughs> Vitus guy. Anyways, I don't think, nah, come on. We love Bruce. We know that he's not about that. He's not about shock comedy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But we wish only the best for Chris. I think it's funny. I bet in this article in the New York Post, which I, you know, what, when do I look at the New York Post? But that goes, uh, an insider says, the governor's doing fine. He's just being cautious. He's been talking and texting with people all day. It's Chris Christie. Like, what well, of course, what do you think? This guy's going to get sick? And then it says the two term former governor told the Star Ledger on Monday he has received well wishes from, drum roll, two term former governor told the Star Ledger on Monday he has received well wishes from, must be President Trump, right? Since he got him sick. No? It's the Jordanian king, Abdullah II. <laughs> who's on the who's it who's this he's like who's the, what's this crazy international number i'm getting yes mr president uh mr governor should i do some kind of accent he's Probably like not. uh governor can you shut down a bridge for me so i could uh you do Abdul. run up the gas prices you do the, you do the king calling me oh God. Ring, ring, ring. you get in trouble for doing the Middle Eastern accent. I don't want to don't get in trouble. Don't know how to do. Okay. Um, Just pretend it's normal. All right. This, how about I, it's the I'll do it. I bet. I'll get a better no, idea. I got, I'll do it. I could tell you a good idea here. Okay. You're the translator. It makes it even more annoying. Okay. <laughs> Ring. So here's Chris Christie on a ventilator. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Ring, ring. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Ring, ring. Oh, 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 shit. Who the fuck is this? Hello? Oh. Uh, hello, Mr. Christie. Uh, yeah. This is... Uh, oh, I can't do this. terrible. This is... I'm bail on this. Oh. This is Kevin, Kevin Federline. Not, not that Kevin Federline. I, I just have a similar name as the pop singer dancer. Uh, I happen to be a translator for the Jordanian King. Oh. Okay, and, and I'm uh, through. He, well, <coughs> I'm I, I, through. you'll be talking through me. He's, okay, he's just wondering, um, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Okay, he's, he's just wishing you well. Well, well, tell him I say thank you, and we'd like, like to gotta... send you some gold. Oh, well, yeah. What's yeah. that about? Well, first he wants you to do him a little favor. <laughs> no problem. If I if I get out of this mess, I'll do whatever he wants. You know that bridge you shut down? Yeah. Can you shut it back down? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How did you go about doing that? I got some similar problems. Well, in look, my if country. you shut the bridge down, he stands to make billions of dollars in gas prices because then he could rake up the prices and then cause a shortage. Uh, Jason Jackson Miller uh, <laughs> says, "Oh no, Trump is not going down. Strongest man he's been up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot be beat by China virus or the blue <clears throat> demons. So that's a ten dollar gift from Jackson Miller. Oh, so that's a bit stop." Like that. <laughs> And um, I mean, Ellie says, sh shout out to Bill Plimpton's uh, Weird Al music video animation. Download the song. Somebody asked if we knew Peter, Peanut Butter Jesus or something like that. No. Mm. Um, well, who's I on asked the, the line? Question. Do we have James Adomian? He's still Wait, connecting. You want to have, uh, you want to talk to a Zoomer? Sure. Let's talk to Reasonable Man. Okay, sure. Okay, Everett. good. Everett, okay. is that it? Mount Everett. Hello, sir. Hey, to make it quick, though, because James uh, just joined, too. It's actually Everardo, but that's fine. I um, just wanted to spread a bit of happiness uh, through an... Have you guys heard about social media challenges, by the way? Oh, sure. This is, we've talked to this. The Ice Bucket Challenge uh, actually... Did, okay, I, good. I heard that it did it, it, it did uh, something for ALS. It actually... A uh, what? It, 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 was a, it, it worked? It kind of worked, Oh, yeah. cool. Well... I'll well, this up. is kind of something similar. Was this the cranberry like to, juice challenge or what? What not? <laughs> this is called uh, the Nelson challenge uh, because I think we should spread a little bit of happiness uh, through laughter. I know you guys love to laugh. And who has the most memorable laugh of all time? Nelson from The Simpsons. Is that what uh, you're leaning towards? That is absolutely correct. Nelson from The Simpsons. I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, if you had just asked me who was the most memorable laugh. <laughs> I think it's Ricky Gervais. Well, <laughs> well, we all remember Nelson's laugh. <laughs> so I challenge uh, three people, Tim, Vic, and Doug, to all uh, spread some ha happiness and laughter through uh, doing the Nelson voice. <laughs> okay. I say it again. Do what? Just challenge us to do the Nelson laugh. That's our challenge. Do we do it at the yeah, same time? Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah you could nominate other people. Uh, kind of keep the laughter rolling. However, you however you want to do it. I know that laugh. I can get it. Ready? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a C. Right. <laughs> <It's> a C. <laughs> Who was that? Is that you? That's. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Yeah. <laughs> I win, well, I, I, win. Uh, I win, I win. I used to have that job. Yeah, All right, win, we, I have, win. we have a serious caller on the All right, line thanks, now. Get out of here, get out of here with James your James Adomian <laughs> actually talking about serious Wait, here, Here's the laugh. <laughs> Wait. There That's, we go. Yeah, it is I, I knew it had a little yeah. breath before It's it. a bitter, bitter, <laughs> yeah. bitter, bitter laugh. James Adomian, are you with me? Yo, Tim, how you doing? You expect me to talk seriously with you? Is this what you want me to do? How can I do that when you're such a funny guy? It's disrespectful I, to our I, audience. I'm being I'm being dragged into this by uh, Ilham Aliyev, the dictator of Azerbaijan. <laughs> all I want to do, all I want to do, is talk about uh, Simpsons laughs. <laughs> I'm sure you're the master, so you go and do it. <laughs> but it's the thing where it's like, I, you're, hey, do an impression of that donkey over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's pretty good. There it is. Been a minute. I haven't seen it in a while. Do Hans Molman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he? I forget the catchphrase, but it's kind of like, I need health care. That's it. Ding, 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 ding. All right, James. 
Hello, Tim. Um, Great to see I, you. Good to see you, too. I think some of our audience didn't know, because you called in a while ago and did the masterful Joe Biden impression, and some of our audience just found, I mean, they didn't know what was going on. They thought it was let terrific. Me, let me roll it out like a fruit roll up there for you, Slim. <laughs> <laughs> When you watch that Jim Carrey try to take a swing I at that, what the hell? I well, the, I didn't watch it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I wiggle out of that uh, interview question. I actually dodged the entire experience. It's funny when you realize you can fully remove yourself from those experiences if you choose to. You can just decide not to engage in any way, right? That is one of the things that COVID is teaching. COVID is teaching me to like pull into that part of Lord of the Rings where like Gandalf's not around for a whole book. <laughs> <laughs> more and more, I'm just like, well, I don't need to do that. Yeah. There's very little I need to do. Well, and, and I do like his paintings though. They, they're Jim Carrey. They're so angry. Yeah. Or Gandalf's painting? No, not yeah. Gandalf. No, no, no. I credit Jim the, uh, you know, SNL, the, 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 the hair and makeup people. They spend, they seem to spend a lot of time on it. Like he looked like them. I like in the old days yeah. when when Chevy so Dan Aykroyd was doing Jimmy Carter with a mustache. They didn't give a shit about <laughs> if they looked like the person or not. Was he like was he like I'm Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was just like, hey everybody, I'm Joe Jim. I would it'd be funny if he was like, I'm Jim Ka I'm Joe Biden. Like, oops. Okay. Yeah. But God bless him. Here's the day. <laughs> Uh, so, so I live in Glendale and, oh. and so what I noticed in the past, my pits just, Bad they're drenched today. I'm wearing the worst shirt for sweaty pits. So it's fully drenched. Oh, <laughs> just acknowledging it. I don't want people just going on about it and thinking that I don't know. I don't care. I care. Um, why are sweaty Spit pits a mouth. thing to even like discuss anymore? It's just you don't you don't want to see. What do you mean? Like it should be fixed? Well, you don't have to. You like, don't have to be like everybody sweats, kind of thing. Well, okay. Sorry, everybody have eyeballs today, and you know I have these. Uh, all right, quiet, <laughs> James. I live in Glendale, and about a week or so ago, I started noticing I eat Louis. a and a number a number of Armenian flags going up, and I thought because there's a Armenian Independence Day that's celebrated every year, and I was like, is that coming up? Or I looked it up, and it had passed. Yeah, and then I started seeing the news that there's a there's a full on military conflict happening right now in the region. So, what it, what's and going on there? It's so interesting that what's happening in, in short is that uh, after long standing ethnic hatred going back to uh, exterminationist uh, interests in Turkey and Azerbaijan, there was a surprise attack that wasn't that well surprised because. They flew a bunch of planes and tanks in. But uh, there was a surprise attack on uh, the Armenian Republic of Artsakh that also spilled over into Ar Armenia proper. And uh, Artsakh is an Armenian Republic. It is populated almost all by Armenians. And uh -huh. the uh, Azerbaijanis are uh, attacked it with Turkish backing. And the goal is explicitly to take it back over by military force, which would result in uh, another Armenian genocide of wiping out all those people. And of course, they're like, no, we wouldn't do that. But they, of course, that's what would happen. What is there? Is what is there in that land that you think is motivating this, or is it is it a racial, ethnic, uh, like pure hatred uh, motivation? It is m mostly. That's an interesting question. It's mostly a um, ethnic hatred. Um, that's pretty irrational. Uh, they. It's it's a mountainous area. It would be like people bitterly fighting over the Verdugo Hills or like Griffith <laughs> Park or something. Right. Uh, it's, it's bigger than that. It would be like f fighting over the Santa Monica Mountains. You know, there's a lot of hiking mm -hmm. trails. There's mineral deposits. Mm -hmm. uh, more than anything, there's an oil pipeline that goes pretty close to it in Azerbaijan. Oh, okay. And, yeah, they don't now we're it. drilling into the source of the issue, if you will. You, you don't even have to. Um, <laughs> Got to follow the money. You don't. <laughs> Follow the money. Follow the money. Now um, let me ask you uh, if if Alex Jones is gonna <laughs> Alex Jones, I've got um I've got Jesse Ventura on the line with me right now. And he's traveled over to Armenia and he's joined the Armenian militia. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm down here. I'm one I've joined up. There's 
we I flew in. I have my own means of transport. <laughs> I flew in on my rotocopter. <laughs> I love that. Your own <laughs> means of transport. Rotocopter. Hey, do you well, do a Vin I, Diesel? I've been working on my Vin Diesel, and it's. Do you have a Vin Diesel? Oh God! Uh, He's right down uh, there. <laughs> He's like, you can have any beer in the house as long as it's a Corona. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sorry, we got off subject, but so what? So well, you're, um, the are news you... is the news in the U.S. media is uh, news media is paying so little attention to this that yet these celebrity impressions are speaking up more than what the news media is saying. Well, I th- what's funny and, about uh, that is this morning I was like, I I listen, I I don't, I really don't watch very much cable news, but. It, when I do, and I turned it on this morning because I got up way too early and I was just kind of checking in on what the news was. I was trying to get the news. And if you turn on CNN, you're going to basically get three stories that get over-discussed and it's all, you know, the inside baseball of, of uh, the, the campaign and and very little, for, certainly there's very little national news and then oh, no world news. So yes. There's almost no. If you watch those traditional cable news networks, you're not getting any world news, which is crazy. What? And I, I mean, I could ch- I could look at the BBC or whatever, but it's true. You're not yeah. getting any of this. Uh, you're not getting any of this. And there's an like, how many people have been killed so far in this conflict? Uh, the Armenian casualties are in the hundreds, and the Azerbaijani casualties are in the thousands. Um, the uh, well, that's Armenian. interesting. Why is there? I mean, so the the, the, the Armenians well, are winning they, right now. They are winning uh, with a far weaker military and a ten to one population disadvantage. Um, Azerbaijan is a country of ten million people, uh, and uh, Artsakh is a, a country of um, one hundred fifty thousand. So, no, not ten to one. Like closer to a hundred to one. Jesus, population difference and a huge military discrepancy. Um, but they're, they're fighting defensively and they're fighting in the mountains. So there's a little bit of advantage there and they're very good at, at, um, they're very, they're clever and smart and they're, they're playing their, they're playing their tricks. So um, they're, and they're, they're what, is the, what is the, what is the, what is the American policy here? What are, what are we? Almost nothing. nothing. Almost nothing. Just, Just ignore like, it. Uh, do we American want? American media is. Do we want any kind of intervention? I mean, because th- that's a little bit of something, you know, I don't know how much I want to be a part of that either. Historically, historically in previous uh, administrations, uh, they would sort of like on the surface voice sympathy for Armenia because it's hard to say that the cause is bad. Right. But then behind the scenes, they would be selling arms to Azerbaijan to go kill Armenians. So they'd be like... We really obviously support the, uh, you know, it's a, the tragedy what happened to the Armenians uh, throughout history, and we need a peaceful resolution. And then they would be selling arms to Azerbaijan. But now with Trump in the White House, it's like uh, uh, th- th- he doesn't care at all. He's he has investments in Azerbaijan, Turkey, and so that's probably. And I think he's friends with Kim Kardashian, so maybe he's torn. <laughs> he's not a he's not a geopolitics guy, right? Um, generally in, in history, the state department has been kind of pro Turkish, they're a NATO country, right? They're really shitty NATO ally. Um, and I think this is tricky. This sounds like world war one stuff. Yes, it is very much. In in fact, world war one is when the Armenian genocide happened. Yes. Um, and basically the Western powers then were so exhausted from the war that they, uh, they, they they were fighting their war in France. There was no way that they were going to do anything to stop or do much to stop what was happening in Anatolia at the time. Um, so it, it, it has the danger of being another major genocidal event, which uh, fuck, it fucking sucks to, yeah. have to say that. Do you have family but there? I, do, you, do you have, sorry, to, you said, but I, I want I, you to finish I, your thought. I don't have immediate family there. I've got a lot of friends um, and I have distant family there. But um, my my Armenian ancestors are from the part of Armenia that's no longer Armenia. Wow. Um, my ancestors are from Vaughn, uh, which is now southeastern Turkey. And they cleared the Armenians out uh, over 100 years ago. And uh, What's the so only- bad about these Armenians that they keep getting? I mean, it's a big deal. Uh, let they, them be. I, yeah. And the whole thing is, uh, it's it was it, it's an ethnic religious dispute, which is dumb. 
and you know you, you go hey I, I could push those people out and then i mean maybe i could have a bigger backyard i don't know I could now we didn't that. tell you we we're going to do this but we're going to bring in neil brennan who has a completely different perspective on this <laughs> um he's a pro azerbaijani and he's looking towards their limit uh, the armenian gen the armenian uh genocide he's he's a pro armenian genocide comedian so uh, if you don't mind we're going to add him to the I'm i was waiting kidding. for this to happen is he coming on <laughs> no i'm just kidding i don't have anybody else i mean that's the next, that's the next thing that's the next thing because there's an inform there's an information war happening right now as well which is uh, very interesting to see it happen in the middle of a world that doesn't necessarily care right uh the, Tur the Turkish and Azerbaijani nationalists really despise, to the point of ethnic destruction, the Armenian people. And so there's a huge uh, targeted trolling efforts on every social media. If you're Armenian or if you say something positive about Armenia, like Cardi B, you get hounded. Uh, you'll wake up to like hundreds of uh, death threats and uh, racial epithets. And they um, take the position that it's kind of like an anti-Muslim situate like a, you're being anti-muslim if you're if you're anti nobody even really Turkish. claims it nobody claims it as a religious dispute anymore right it's uh it's 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 pretty much the azerbaijani position is that the armenian people aren't real and uh don't have crazy uh, they that they don't they, <laughs> that they aren't from the homeland that they're from they're and real like, they're always <laughs> honking at me trying to get past me on the main roads here in glendale they're always the fuck out of the way smoking <laughs> I mean, you know the you know the Glendale Armenians. They're they're an interesting bunch. But I certainly am not I, calling for their for their elimination. Thank you, thank you, Tim. Bring your is. Oh my God, is that was that you getting distracted driving? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think part of the reason that I think part of the it, it, what's interesting is that they they, they, they not there's not not only the um, trolling efforts that happen on social media, but there's. Um, uh, obviously, uh, there's these hacking attempts that have happened. That, it, that, that Turkish hacker, hackers even hacked like like Armenian charity websites and shit. And, and ostensibly, Turkey's not involved in this conflict, but they're right. really involved in the information war. It, yeah, and supplying weapons and stuff. Have the Kardashians been vocal about any of this, or are they confused uh, yeah, and I, don't know what to I do? I know that. I know. <laughs> I know that Kim has. Uh, Kim has spoken out very much, which is very admirable to expect so much from a model. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, she she has spoken out a lot. And in it, this is what sucks in a world where it's not getting the media attention that it should. I, every, but every fucking Armenian who's just like doing whatever they're doing is suddenly like called upon to speak for the whole people. <laughs> right, right. And yeah. it sucks that every goddamn few decades or so whenever any turkish nationalist like erdogan or azerbaijani nationalist like aliyev decides to have an attempt at another genocidal event the armenians have to drop everything right and i know it's not fucking funny i know it's not yeah i i, I have my comedian brain going like well you're not getting any laughs right now and there's not much to no say. this is that's the beauty of my shows we can we can deftly spin and turn and and Talk about serious discussions and then have laughs. That's why it's one of the number one rated shows. That's why I feel like uh, <laughs> it's one of the number one. Rated shows. <laughs> Just rated in general. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Um, the, the the CNN hasn't uh, CNN was kind of badgered into recovering it a little bit and having a story here and there, but mostly it's devoted. They've devoted it's it's occasionally popping up on the news crawl on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Uh, and. I mean, I've seen I've seen what it looks like when a news organization covers a story like it should be covered. Right. And I know for some reason there's a switch in everybody's brain where they hear the word Armenia and they go, oh, that's too far away a stand. Yeah. Or like they hear the word problem, Azerbaijan yeah. and they're like, oh, Azerbaijan, who gives a fuck a stand? Yeah. And it's all halfway around the world. But I've seen... I've seen the news organizations, organizations send reporters around, and I know what it sounds yeah. like. The, all you got to do is find some British guy, yeah. put a helmet on, exactly. and he stands there and he goes, we're here in the war-torn region. <laughs> That's exactly right. Of Nagorno-Karabakh, known to the Armenians as Artsakh. Yeah. 
and then talking to local villagers and stuff. And yes. and the death knew- toll has become unimaginable as local villagers try to put their pieces back together. Meanwhile, international spokesmen from the UN have said no deal has been reached, and the Russian and Chinese members of the UN Security Council are meeting on this immediately. I'm standing in front of the site where cluster <laughs> munitions were recently used. That's pretty good. In the Armenian city of Stepanaka. <laughs> That's great. Um, now you're getting laughs. Stepanaka is pretty nasty, actually. The uh, it's, it was a it's a town. It's the capital of Artsakh that had no military in it. For you know, there's countries take make efforts to do this where they have a non-military city in case a war breaks out. Yeah. And Azerbaijan targeted them with not only missiles and bombs and suicide drones, uh, but also uh, cluster munitions, which are really nasty weapons Eesh. that they, they shoot them. It shoots on a missile. And then when it detonates, there's like a bunch of different bombs that just randomly spew out. Eesh. So it's designed to terrorize neighborhoods and they're targeting Nice, cute, tree-lined neighborhoods. Ugh. And if you look at if you look at Armenia and Artsakh, it looks a lot like Glendale. It's it's cute. Right. There's like cute, well, nice, clean apartment buildings, yeah. trees and shit. And they're targeting neighborhoods like that with uh, cluster munitions. And um, well, what can people do? What should what should my audience do? Because I have to move along, unfortunately, James. I've got some. I understand. Waiting. I understand. You've got three Turkish and Azerbaijani spoke. <laughs> <laughs> Fair and balanced. Um, but thank. I've thank got you. James Corden coming on, who's going to take the other side of things. I loved, by the way, John, John Levenstein has got to be my favorite person in the world. John Levenstein, because everybody was posting that uh, clip of him playing "Maybe I'm Immune," but which is the uh, the parody of "Maybe I'm Amazed." I don't know if you saw it, James, but <laughs> is it a James Corden thing? Yeah, James Corden did oh, a boy. parody of "Maybe I'm Amazed." Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm immune. maybe I'm immune. And everybody was going, thank you, James. This is one of the greatest things. Of, you know, wow, this is so great. And John Levenstein said, uh, I think he just wanted to, uh, I think James Corden just wanted to play Maybe I'm Amazed because he's really a good singer. You know, he's got this like Broadway voice. And that's fine because he's, uh, you know, he should be able to do that if he wants. But leave me out of it. Like <laughs> he oh. just clearly just wanted to show off that what a great singer he is. But it's this really flaccid uh, parody. <laughs> Oh, Matt Sweeney's here. James, I got to go. Hi. James, I got to go. Thanks, Tim. Hey, I, I want to tell you something. Uh, yeah. to, your uh, viewers, if you want to help the Armenian people, uh, the best way to do it is by going to armeniafund.org. Um, it, that's the unified charity for helping Armenia and Artsakh right now. Armenia, Armenia, Armenia Fund, not Armenian. Armenia Fund. Armeniafund.org. Uh, okay. And also, if you want to keep up with the news, Zartonk Media is very good about what's happening there. Okay. Thank you, James. Matt Sweeney. Thank you, James. Hey. I, need you, I, need to, I need you to take the opposing view on this. How quickly can you get up to speed? <laughs> Are you drinking exactly Turkish coffee? Is that what you're That's doing? That's exactly drink? what I was thinking. I, I have Turkish coffee and I've been taking notes. <laughs> Listen, Matt Sweeney, I'm sorry that we, we held you waiting here, but people don't understand if people don't understand you are one of the greats you are one of the great rock and roll guitar (laughs) players maybe of all time you're up there with Jimi hendrix i love pretty music and eddie van halen well we're gonna get to eddie but matt is of course from chavez one of my favorite groups from the 90s and then but you've been who have you played with in the past you know 10 years give us a little rundown uh, I guess in the last 10 years, this I've been playing with Bonnie Prince Billy a lot. And I guess that's, we do a thing called Super Wolf. Mm-hmm. And then I, uh, and then as far as like, I don't know, fun, you want like fun names? Like I, I played with Neil Diamond. I played with the Dixie Chicks. I played with, uh, God, I Iggy don't know. Pop. Now I'm getting nervous. Iggy Pop. Yeah, yeah. I played with Iggy Pop. Uh, I did a thing called the Desert Sessions with Josh Homme. I do lots of different stuff. Like you're I, the guy to go. Really, you're the guy to go to when they want just, like, what is it that you pr- offer? I don't even. I mean, you're I, obviously. I don't know. 
You're not that great. That's a really good question. No, I know. I, I, I believe me. I think I think that's the thing. I'm like the guy who's not that great, and I'm just sort of available. You know, and maybe he hangs out. I'm and like does all the drugs. How yeah. many, cord, how many yeah, cords? Like, do you, how many cords do you know? I, I don't know any. <laughs> It's, in, it's 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 insane, you know. You played with Cat Stevens, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, I've been really lucky. The, what happened was uh, Rick Rubin started hiring me to play as a session guy, and so that gave me access to these totally unimaginable, you know, heroes of mine. Uh, so, oh yeah, like Adele, another unimaginable Adele. hero. Yes, I played on Adele's record, dude. Dude, you're I'm getting, getting Adele. Video. You're getting a, you're getting on Adele yeah. record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, um, I don't know, you know. So, 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 like, I, I I play in bands that nobody's ever heard of, and I play on, uh, and I've played on some big records. Yeah, how did that? Tr- kind of yeah, game. I mean, that's so you. So Chavez was a uh-huh. you know uh, an, an alt rock band. It totally, was totally that, ignored. Like, band. By people cared about. Yeah, 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 totally. Nobody cared. Yeah. But so, um, how did you go from that to now playing with all these people? It was just Rick Rubin was a fan of Chavez, or was it I, more I serendipitous? Say, I, I would. Say, no, I would say no. Actually, Rick Rubin, if he's ever heard Chavez, Chavez he hasn't <laughs> uh, indicated that he likes it. Um, uh, no, the, honestly, the, the, uh, you know, I, I just I always played in underground bands and and stuff, and 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 probably always will. Uh, but then, me and Will Oldham made a record called Super Wolf, and uh, Rick Rubin heard that, and he loved that, and claims that it's his favorite record of all time, and all or said all this really nice stuff, and and. And then he also in turn played it for lots of people. And he just, uh, from there, I just got a call from his office asking if I wanted to play in a Johnny Cash uh, record. So, I, and this was after Johnny Cash was dead. So I assumed that they were overdubs, which, which they, they were. Just put, um, they just yeah, put the yeah. corpse in the studio and. I just looked at his, you know, um, <laughs> I just played leads over everything, over just all this stuff. I was just like, um, but but anyway, but but yeah. So Rick Rubin just gave me this really big, you know, he kind of plucked me out of obscurity and just and started hiring me to play in all these really cool records. And I did that for a long time, and that's what sort of get, brought me to that. That's why people go who the fuck is Matt Sweeney? It's probably because Rick Rubin hired me to play with all these guys. And, and then and you've and been producing. Like, like, and you've been producing now. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing that. I've also do that on and off because it's one of those things where. If somebody asks you, have you been asked to produce a record, Tim? Have you done any production? No. Don't do it. It's totally not worth it. Uh, it's it's like, or or I mean, no, it's really fun. I like doing it with people who who don't really need me. That that's a fun thing because I yeah. hang out in the studio and 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 you do that. But as as far as like really all, all the records that I worked really hard on, and and had to do all sorts of work, I don't know if they're any good. And and I certainly didn't make much money off of it. So it's like <laughs> production. Yeah, but, <laughs> per, per, but 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 I do actually. Yeah, I just I just produced a record for a band called Song Hoi Blues, and they're really really cool. Yeah, I'd this recommend is, anybody. This is yeah. cool. What's the story with these guys? They're they're North African. They're, 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 yeah, they're, they're, well, they're Western African. They're, they're from West Mali. Uh, yeah, and and, uh, and Mali. I, I guess obviously there's a very aware group of people, so everybody knows that Mali has been having lots of political situations for a long time. And uh, this is a band made up of young guys who were all refugees from various cities because. All the cities that they're from, uh, music became made illegal. Uh, it, 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 it was it was outlawed, right. uh, be, uh, uh, and uh, by Muslim extremists. So they all ended up in this one city as refugees, and they started a band, and they kind of sing about that. But the band is really, really rocking. Like it's like a the, heavy uh, rock the, record. Yeah, yeah, it's it's super rocking. Like if you like rock guitar and stuff, it's really I I think it's so fucking cool. So so yeah, I mean actually I, I don't want to downplay my producing, but it. I, sometimes really cool bands ask me to produce them, and I say yes. And so, so they reached uh, out to you. This wasn't a find. You I didn't did. discover them on some weird. Uh, no, 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 no. They, they, they've been. They people have been kind of con- colonizing that band for a long time. Uh, because as soon as people found out their story, I guess the guy from Blur had like a special colon- music colonization show where he went over to Africa and decided what bands he he as a white man liked. <laughs> and 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 uh, and 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 uh, and Songhoi Blues, you know. Uh, appeal to him so the blur guy got them attention uh, and again there, there, there's a documentary called uh they will have to kill us first and it's about music in mali and if you like music and if you're interested at all in how how fucking fucked up regimes can be yeah. uh w- w- watch watch this movie because and, and it's also like it's definitely like these people's hands get cut off in this movie so it's like it's Jesus. not chill at all no um but, you can't but play guitar so, so, with uh, without hands 
well, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. yes. uh, and, some people. And, that and, guy, uh, remember that guy with that played guitar with his feet? He used sure. to play for the Jeff Pope? Healy. Yeah, Jeff, yeah. Jeff Healy. No, no, Jeff Healy was, he was blind. blind. He was blind. Yeah, Jeff Healy was and he blind. With his feet, didn't no, he? there was okay. another guy who played oh. with his feet who used to play for the Pope. He used to play a bunch of classical music with his toes. Okay, good. Really? Yeah, you oh. don't know about this? No, that's a good. Musicians are so pathetic that they do that. You know, I mean, what, <laughs> what a like, smelly I mean, guitar God, that must be. <laughs> yeah, man, it's like you just just don't play. You know, how about, how about just don't play? You know, yeah, really. Gosh. Um, yeah. So, so what else? Wait, I want to. We have to run soon because we have Melania oh, okay, Trump well, calling in. But yeah, yeah. I just want to. Yeah, um, first of all, I've been trying to get you on the show, and we've always had to push it and stuff because I always want you to a give me something. You're always sending me great new things or old things to listen oh, cool. to. You know what I mean? Thanks. So I always Thanks. just say like my audience. I'm always dr- dr- uh, dying for new music. I'm ready. Me too. So give us a, I, I should have asked you, give me, give me one thing people should check out today. Uh, I'll, I'll say, and, and this is, this is, uh, this is very, maybe almost too on the nose and on brand, but I would recommend uh, a record by a guy called Brute Force. Yeah. Um, he made, uh, and I think the record's called Confections. Or, or Vic knew it right away. He got all excited. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, Bruce, yeah. he was he was on Apple Records early on. Yeah, exactly. And uh, hey, Vic, a big fan, by the way. Oh, awesome. uh, nice to meet you. I got flown to Texas to play at a film festival that featured your videos. I think I told Tim this, and Tim thought it was really funny. Wow. Um, but it's Vic actually, didn't, it's actually Vic true. Didn't, Vic didn't get flown there. No, but you did. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't even know they were doing it. <laughs> yeah, it was like the Marfa Film Festival. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, but anyway, so 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 the, yeah, the brute force record is fucking unbelievable. It's famous because uh, George Harrison heard a song called uh, what's it called? Vic, I, I'm the fucking. There's yeah, oh, the, right, the, the fucking F U H King. Yeah, right. Yeah, the king of the king of king fuck, of fuck. But, yeah, king of fuck. Yeah, but and and is the record called Confections? I I, I, I don't I know it if it's it Confections. Says, I think it's. Confection, confection. <laughs> no, hey, um, uh, but but it's a '60s record by a guy called Brute Force, and it's so fucking good. And, and I think he described his genre as heavy funny. Heavy um, funny. But all right, yes. yeah. And, he's a and, he's a and, huge and trumper these days. Just say. Oh, he <laughs> is. The no, yeah, is he? Yeah, no. He is. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> but that that song, nobody knows what's going on in my mind. That one is amazing. Yeah. So is Ringo, by the way. He just came out and endorsed Donald Trump. Did you see that? <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. I'm law just kidding. and order. Law I, and order. <laughs> yeah. Confections of Love is the album. I love oh, it Trump. Is. It is. I love Trump. <laughs> I love Trump. Yeah, I love I, Mike I'm Pence. <laughs> Wait. And so, but before I let you go, Matt. Yeah. Um, oh, we were going to talk about Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Right? I just wanted to get, because you had oh, yeah. such a beautiful post about Eddie Van Halen the oh, other thanks. day. Uh, where you yeah, said, you, you, you know, whenever you describe somebody as who's the best of what they do, you see, you call him the Eddie, Eddie Van, Van Halen. Halen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, an, another I, I guess I just want to say that a, a, a really cool thing about rock music and, and, and I know that a lot that people involved in the show like rock music. I, I think that the, the one of the neatest things about rock music is that people you, you basically well, there's a lot of examples of people uh, getting to be themselves. And, and like, let, we'll take Little Richard as an example, sure. this is like an outrageous queer black guy yeah. who would be, he would be beaten up in, in most situations. And then he gets to be completely 100% himself, this queer black guy singing about sucking dick, and everybody <laughs> loves it. And everybody thinks it's the greatest thing on earth. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 uh, and I think that Van Halen, in a lot of ways, is maybe the, one of the best examples of this thing, where, and, and, uh, of this example. So, like, David Lee Roth is a aggressive Jewish guy yeah. named David Lee Roth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who's like this old... He's an old time like Vodio Do, like super Jewish guy. <laughs> yeah. And, and 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 somehow he is the, the blonde haired rock god front man, you yeah. know, of this band forever. And then and then on to the Van Halen brothers, right? The, these guys are were, were were Indonesian dudes, you know what I mean? Like they're not right. white dudes. And mm-hmm. and and it never got discussed, which and, and and I don't have an answer to whether this is good, bad, or whatever. I just think it's just sort of awesome in it and 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 ultimately kind of cool and i think it's a shame that, that that eddie died before he got to talk a little bit more about the fact that he wasn't a white dude and that right and that it made him have to fucking be that that great right that when that you know and and there is this and and also and and i'll just jump also like for example for rob halford from judas priest again he's singing songs about fucking dudes to a, to, to a giant <laughs> audience of like 
homophobic morons. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they love it. And yeah. they're not... And, a queen, and they, they're, like they're Freddie Mercury. He is. Yeah, Freddie Mercury, another example. Mm-hmm. And, and like, and they're loving everything that he is. There's nothing, there's nothing, they're not hiding anything. They're celebrating themselves and everybody gets off on it. And and, and I think that Van, Van Halen doesn't get any credit for the, oh, they also, Van Halen didn't have a manager either when they, when David Lee Roth is in it. It was just wow. this, yeah. this pure ball of awesome, you know, yeah. and, and, and you just see it and it flows over you. And yeah. I, I just, I, I think that the rock and roll is really a, kind of the, the only thing that kind of does it that purely and that directly. And it's almost like, yeah. like, it's like this howling eruption that, 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 that happens and certain people can channel it. Well, and everybody loves it. Speaking you know, speaking all. of of eruption, I I'm not I mean I'm not the biggest Van Halen fan, but I grew up with them mm-hmm. and I appreciate him as a talent. But I watched that mm-hmm. 13 minute eruption solo video that's going around online. That's his. It was his showcase, you know, when he would come out and and Sammy Hagar would leave, and he did that 13 minute virtuoso. It's like it, it's it's it, it's so beautiful. I mean, and, the, yeah. and his love of doing it is so clear mm-hmm. and, and the audience Absolutely. is so like realized they're in the presence of something really special and it goes on forever. And you're like, he's commanding this <laughs> arena to listen to I him do this that. thing. Oh, you haven't seen it? No, no, no. Go like um, eruption solo I, on, on sure. YouTube. And it's, it's beautiful. I showed it to my dad the other day cause he's in town and, and it's just like, no, no matter what kind of music you like, you just have to go, holy shit, this guy is doing so he's on a completely another another level. Um, and, and, and if I and if I may just to add just one last thing is that it's also it's really inclusive. Like what you're talking about is that like everybody gets it. And there's something Van Halen, even though there's all this like, you know, virtuosity, their whole vibe was totally inclusive and yeah. totally loose and totally not fucking precious. They did tons of covers. They're yeah. constantly clowning around. They're constantly, they're laughing. They make it look really, yeah. really fun. It does, you know? They and do like, make it look fun with all those red cups of beer or whatever they're drinking. Yeah. Like, it's I mean, like a party but, on but stage. But for real, total fun. Absolutely. And and again, and you think about this, that this band came out of Pasadena, you know, which is like a working class suburb with lot, lots of different races. And lot, you yeah. Know? And they really are like the ultimate sort of like working class, fucking all American. And that means not white, not straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like and, and, uh, I love and it. I, I don't know. I, I love him so much. I so hope you're so doing I'm his eulogy. Matt, you should be doing his eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you don't, we can print this out and send it to his management and his family and they can use it. Um, Th- I have to much. go because I have a spe- You could stay on if you want All because right. I have an amazing guest. We I mean, will, what do you got? You this is the first time she's spoken, I think, publicly. First interview she's done publicly since con- contracting the... Um, Coronavirus. We have the first lady of the United States, uh, the third wife of our president, <laughs> Mel- Melania Trump. Hello. Hello, Hello? Miss. Mrs. Can you Trump. Hear me? We have bad. Re- we have we have bad signal in the White House. <laughs> Mrs. Trump. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, Wi-Fi very bad in White House because okay. they also try to. In- the Russians, uh, they control, so it's quite hard to get the connection. <laughs> so, so you, the, you say the Russians control the Wi-Fi in the White House? Yes, we have a good deal, very good deal. We get them um, free, um, free landlines with uh, from, okay. and it's hard to get, hard to get a good, good signal. And it's the, the customer service very, very long time waiting. Oh, that's terrible. I, are you concerned? Hello, Hello, Hello Mrs. America. Trump. <laughs> Hello, America. Hello. Mrs. Trump, what an honor to be speaking. Not really. I'm not a big fan of your, your husband's uh, administration, but I have respect for the office. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't respect my husband. He's a very funny man, but no respect. <laughs> How are how is your health, ma'am? You, I know you're suffering from the dreaded coronavirus. Are you are you recovering? Are you what stage are you at? Oh, I'm very well. We're very well. This was a Roger Stone plan, very clever plan, and um, I am doing very well. Uh, we are having some time off. We're just playing games in the house. We're chasing each other around, doing lots of jumping. <laughs> doing lots of jumping. Kind of games are you playing? Have you been given these experimental drugs that the president has been given? Um, I I have not because I'm already on very strong concoction of um, drugs, and I take I am um, take a lot of uh, uh, essence of fish, 
So <laughs> I, I cannot, it cannot be mixed with that, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, no, we are, we are watching each other. We are not talking and looking at each other. <laughs> it's very, very good time. Thank you. <laughs> so. You <laughs> so you, thank you, America. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, how, how, how have you enjoyed your time as first lady? It's been rough, I imagine. It's been rough with a lot of the criticism from the mainstream media and uh, the oh, liberals. Not as, not, as, not as rough as uh, my husband's big bum. <laughs> <laughs> not, as much, not as much as what? Your husband's big bum? <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a very big bum. It's very hard. It's very rough for me to touch. And he likes me to touch it. But that's a small price to pay. <laughs> but has it been difficult for you? I know this is not the dream life you wanted. Maybe you didn't want to become, they say the reports are you didn't want to become, you were hoping you didn't win because you weren't sure you were going to want that life. Well, for me, I'm very good, uh, beautiful singer, beautiful dancer, beautiful actor. So for me, I wanted to be next James Bond. Um, <laughs> so this make it hard for me to do that, but not necessarily impossible. You know, anything's possible in America, the great country. Every dream is everyone's dream. Thank you. <laughs> You want you want to be you're welcome. Thank you. You want to be sorry, you want to be the next James Bond? Well, uh yes, you know, flip flip the story and um and uh, for once doing it doing it for the women. Um hello hello ladies. And um yeah, I think you know, shooting some people and dancing around in the cars and I could have a big snake, put the snake on a lead. <laughs> oh my god. What that's well. Good. Good luck to you. Do you, do you um, tell us something about the president that maybe people would be surprised to hear? Something that they'd be surprised to, to hear about um, him? Uh, he absolutely loves prawns. He what? Loves prawns? Yeah. Shrimp. <laughs> yeah, that's his favorite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else can I think about? What else can I think about? Um, uh, his hair. Is made from uh, his hair is made from uh, bags. From bags? <laughs> How do you mean? Well, we cut the bags up in very very thin strips and we stick it on every morning. Like paper bags? We stick. We well, it's sometimes bags, sometimes candle wax, and we <laughs> we we stick it we stick it on for uh, for him. And it's very good. It keeps his head very dry because he hates to get wet. Oh, that's interesting. He hates to get wet. Yeah. Yeah, he hates it. He hates it. He loves to be dry. <laughs> Good day, mate. And what, what, and what did you... Uh, uh, how are you trying to... Uh, we don't see much of you on the campaign trail. Obviously, now you're, you're not out there campaigning because you're, you're ill with a contagious disease, but... Oh, I'm always on campaign trail, but I hide in, I hide in the bins. Very small. Get very small and just watch. You I, love in the bins? See, I, love, I love to see the American people and I love to see the, the excitement. I love to see the free. I love to see the opportunity and I love to see the V shape. I love to see the big V. The, big the economy v. is a big V. It's, it's a big V and I love to see that. <laughs> it's a big V. So what happens now, Miss, uh, Mrs. Trump? What happens? You know, the polls are not looking good. Um, mm. do you, first of all, what, 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 what happens to you and, and the president should he lose? Do you have have you sort of gamed that out in your mind where what the future of the Trump family looks like? Um, well, we actually have a lot of property under the ground, and um, <laughs> we going to um, we have a strain of mole in our family, so we live very well on the ground because um, <laughs> we are actually all blind. So you have <laughs> moles in your family. You're blind. Yeah, we are all blind. Uh, <laughs> Um, so we use our senses very well. So we actually much prefer underground. It's much warmer, um, more fun. It's That's more amazing. To play with. You are blind, and the president is blind as well. <laughs> oh yeah, he can't see anything. He can't see nothing. <laughs> That's incredible. That's breaking news. I mean, that, you should have le led with that maybe in your campaign. That's incredible. You don't know he's blind. No. I can't believe this. Fake news. Fake news. They tell you he can see. He can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing because he's you know, people always criticize him for reading off teleprompters, but no, he's just he's just no, uh, he's he's, bl he's he's blind. He's got the he has the words he has the words. Um, they 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 tickle the words on the bottom of his feet, and he feels the words. 
by um. someone touching the bottom of his feet. That's you're... always there. Someone done that. His feet all the time. How is and, and your son Baron <laughs> is blind as well. Oh yeah, he's blind. He's blind. The big he's he's blind, but um, he has a tail, so he can use that to um, feel around. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has a tail. That's this a is incredible. Um, how is Baron yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. How is Baron doing? How's he coping? Oh, he loves he loves it. He loves to have mommy and daddy at home, <laughs> and we um, he loves it when uh, we sing together. And I scratch him, and my husband scratch him, and you know, <laughs> it's a good time. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you seem like a fun person, Melania. I didn't really. You're really opening up. Do you have anything you want to say to the whole uh, criticism of uh, Christmas? There was some tape of you that you said you you said uh, fuck Christmas or what was the quote, guys? It was something like uh, fuck Christmas and the decorations. Yeah, you don't enjoy Christmas. Is that true? I can imagine if you Look, can't see, you can't appreciate the light. They take it out of context. I don't. I don't. I I, I hate Christmas, but I love Easter. And they never play me saying how much I love Easter. You just love, I love Easter. Eggs. I love eggs. I love um, different eggs. And I love uh, I love to eat lamb and I love eggs. And they never <laughs> tell the truth. What are you doing? Anything special at the White House for uh, for uh, sorry for uh, Halloween? That's coming up. That's exciting. Um, we just sit very still with the lights off in the dark. <laughs> Okay. And we have an amazing time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you listen to music or anything? No, no, we can't listen to music because we are blind. It is all very exciting for our ears. It's too exciting. To so you can't listen to music. You can't listen to music because you're blind and it's too exciting. No. It's too stimulating. But Yeah, but my husband, he likes me to bind his hands to make them look like little paws. And then he scuttle around, and we scuttle it, and then he sometimes scuttle in the dark. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a strange family you are, but you seem interesting. Um, thank man, you, thank I, you, thank you, America. Thank, thank you, America is very interesting, home of the free, land of the uh, dreams. What is your favorite thing? But one last question: What's your favorite thing about America? You've been here several years. What, what have you grown to really love about this place? And you'd miss if you had to move back to where you're from, Estonia. I love the motorways. I love the freeway. I love I love tarmac, and I love concrete, baby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Melania Trump. I hope you can call in again before the election. That would be terrific. Oh, thank you very much. I love I love America. I love my country, home of the free, <laughs> land of myself. God thank bless you. <laughs> God bless you. I need a break. All right. Let's take a caller, Matt. We, I know we have limited time here, but let's take a caller before we get to our before we get to James Hankins at the end of the show today. Yes. Let's. If you're going to join us in After Hours, I believe we have a special surprise coming in as a man, as I alluded to earlier in the show. Let's talk to Amanda Madori. Got anything to say today? Hello, hey guys. Are Hello. you enjoying the show today, Amanda? How could you not? Chefe. I mean, honestly, I just joined, so I'm not. Um, what happened? Melania was, <laughs> Melania was great. I had to get some food. Sorry. And what'd you get? Um, I got a, a sub. Sub or a hoagie, yeah. Great American. We should say who. Um, should we say who Melania was? It's getting pretty exciting. Do you have a guess who Melania was? Some people got it on. Yeah. What do you, what, do you have a guess who Melania was, Amanda? Um, was it Maya Rudolph? No. <laughs> I'm. No. Well, don't laugh at that. You could. It could be. <laughs> no. Matt, no. reveal our big guest today. You just don't know how to pronounce it. That's right. Uh, N- it on Natasha me. Dimitriou. Dimitriou or Ooh, Dimitriou. I'm not sure. From yeah, Natasha from What We Do in the Shadows. Natasha yes. from What We Do in the Shadows. Yes. Graciously called in. That was terrific. Wow. That should win us some kind of award, that interview. That's gotta be an offy. That's a that's a that that's a home run. 
let's go through the show. We had a terrific, great, real earnest, beautiful conversation with Matt Sweeney. We had a great, interesting political discussion with the uh, world po- world affairs discussion with James Adomian. We had the "I'm Going Down" video song, uh, goof. We've had much, much more as well, and a lot of fun. Um, Amanda, hey, what, what can I help you with today? Okay. okay. Well, I want to shout out Pam Keith, who I just voted for absentee. Oh, um, that's terrific. Pam uh, Keith, friend of the show, Pam Keith. <laughs> running for running for Florida, what district? 18, 18. Yes. Shout out um, to Pam Keith. She was running against the rat K.W. Miller. Hey, was K.W. Miller on the ballot? He's on the ballot. Oh, my God. Uh, whoa. <laughs> well, that's good. I think hopefully um, he'll take some Brian Mast votes away from him. Okay, exactly. good. Yeah. Um, I have a question for Vic. If um, he'd like to gleam a little insight into how he he gets the Trump hairs so crisp on his Photoshop. So that is he's long. You know, truthfully, I have I have no idea how to use Photoshop. I just like make it up on the on the as I'm going. They're really good. They're really Thank good. you. I appreciate it. I, I like. Basically, I just draw it with a with like a one pixel thing, oh. draw it in, and then mess with it with blurring. And sounds like you have an yeah. idea. So I do, yeah. but I, I mean, I, I I know I hate that I, underselling. I really yeah. no, but I really don't. <laughs> I just accidentally you do blurring. Did it. I you can't do like pixel, graphic design you know or anything. All that's all I know how to do on Photoshop is Trump pictures. <laughs> so <laughs> that's so, what, so, what yeah. I've, I've been asking Vic to do this for like a year now. Yeah, yeah. We want to do a tutorial video that maybe only patrons can see or something, some kind of incentive. Yeah. But I would love, love to watch that. I'll do that. that. I'll do that. What a terrible question to ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Amanda. Let's is uh, any. Let's do one more call before we bring in uh, our last call today. If no, it's I'm possible. not going to waste my time on a virtual sure debate. Sure thing is that Marcelo, are you waving because you have something? Thank you. Good luck. All right, Marcelo. It okay. was free money nice. sitting on the fucking table. So, by the way, to- John Levenstein, I praised him yesterday, uh, today on the show, gave him much praise. And he just tweeted about that new Trump video where Trump's standing in the middle of nowhere. Let's get him on the show. He, says, yeah, okay. he says, this feels like Tim Heidecker wrote up fake audition copy and asked an <laughs> amateur actor to get himself camera ready and shoot it in front of a green screen. Well, this, is a, this is a brand new one. This There's one, a brand new this one? one just, this is one that we haven't seen yet. It just oh, please. came out like half an hour. Can we watch that? Yeah. So, to my favorite people in the world, <laughs> the seniors. I'm a senior. I know you don't know that. <laughs> Nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. Know that. <laughs> I'm a I gotta go back again. So, so, to my favorite people in the world, the seniors. The I'm seniors. a senior. I know you don't know that. Nobody knows that. Maybe you don't have to tell them, but I'm a senior. We are making tremendous progress humor. with this horrible disease that was sent over by China. China will pay a big price. <laughs> what, what price? What are, to the you're world not doing anything. Seven months! <laughs> Seven motherfucking months, you piece of shit! Right now, and I call him a cure. You're I not doing shit! I was very sick. And They'll I pay a price, medicine, believe me. And it was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> what I, was I incredible? I could have walked out the following day. <laughs> oh, sooner. Bragging about him it getting better. It was incredible the impact it had. And we're going to make that and others that are similar to it almost identical. Why should we're we believe you? Immediately, we have an emergency use authorization. Nah, you'll blow it. Get signed immediately. <laughs> be a, the FDA has moved at a level that they've never moved of before. Thing. <laughs> Things that would take two, three, four years are taking a matter of weeks or no, even sooner. No, no one that. believes you. You're talking to a fucking <laughs> echo. You know, no, no one seniors. buys your shit. But they you're like going to, to lose, the and then you're going to die in debtor's <laughs> prison. You, you are really vulnerable. Believe this? So am I. <laughs> but I want you to get the same care that I got. No, I got well, believe me, people are going to stop that. Doctors. We'll get a helicopter. And this medicine in particular, one medicine was unbelievable. Uh, say you're going to get it. the same medicine. You're going to get it He's free. He's got some no fucking charge. stock. He's definitely and we're going to get it to you soon. Oh, nothing's free. Right? <laughs> and the nice part is it's made by a number of companies. It's totally safe. <laughs> but it's powerful Who knows? against this disease. You don't know what you're talking so about. Get it out to you're you. on we're fucking steroids. You're high. Free. And I just want to thank you. And Why didn't you act seven months ago? A horrible Why thing. didn't you do this shit? Uh, you you have to have it personally? Know, he talks, but he never did anything in 47 now I understand years. I did more in 47 months than he did in 47, 47 years. 47 he just number. talks. It's the same old thing. 
If it were up to him, you wouldn't have this. You wouldn't have anywhere near it for years. They wouldn't even be talking about it. Well, we don't have it now, and that's all we can go by. All you do is you're just a fucking empty suit. One of the great disasters. You're a liar, you cunt. But I do know what I'm doing. (laughs) No, you don't. Seniors are going to be taken care of, and then everybody's going to be taken care of. Uh huh. It's all as long as you vote for me. We're going to have fucking Nirvana. We love you. We love America. Unbelievable. I just want to play the end of this other one where he's then he passes out. Yeah. Give me my ventilator. Uh oh, the Wi Fi's out. No. Uh, well, right. we have James okay. waiting. Right. Okay, yeah, we'll I'm talk excited. more about I'll rant yeah. more in the well, after hour. No, I won't because my dad's here. We're going to keep it We're going to keep it politics free, Dave. have just made a lot of it. <laughs> I don't like so to get into it. You're going to get better fast, just like <laughs> I did. So, again, a blessing in disguise. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Oh, the good luck. Yeah, that's amazing. the good luck I was trying to get, yeah. All right, now. <sighs> Holy Talk to shit. me about James, our d- beautiful director. If you haven't watched the property video, people are saying he's one of the great. And listen, Ooh, this video would not yeah. have been able to be made by anybody else. Dude. It would have taken people years to do this. James. Hello. 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 How are you doing, man? You all right? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm all yeah. right. Yeah, it's been okay, you know? It's been a bit yeah, thank hard. You. Thanks for the nice thing you've been oh. saying. Hello. By the way, who is that? I, I listen every week, and I want to know who that is. Who is it? Hello. Oh yeah, who's that, Doug? Um, shoot, I can't. It's I an it's Australian, Australian mystery uh, drop New show. Uh, oh, is it a uh, Steve, Steve Irwin mystery? No, oh, it's like no, a no. it's like a sitcom in Australia or something. Okay. Yeah. James, you're yeah. A, you're. What's great about you is you're a fan of Office Hours. You're an on cinema head. But I didn't. But but you're also a, a, an acclaimed director in your own right, <laughs> apparently. My label <laughs> said we want to. I'm not a. I'm not a music video guy. I don't think that way. I don't necessarily always like them. But my label said we think we should do another video after the Fear of Death one. We've we got to do some videos. We should do one for <laughs> property. I said, if you could if you could figure it out, I'm on board to help. But I don't really want to come up and, and sit around and come up with a bunch of ideas and figure out how to do it. And Ben from my label said, well, this guy James is really talented. Should we ask him? And you came in with all these ideas. You came in with so many references and you wrote a big treatment that I didn't read. And I said, let's do it. I knew, I knew you didn't read it. <laughs> I read enough to know that this kid cares. You, 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 went, with, you went with the first, I gave 10 ideas and you oh, went right. with the first one. I, I think that's the first line. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. But that's good though. I'm what I did that. what I did do is I said, I want you to be free to do what you think is gonna be best and I'll help you out as much as I can. But I'm not gonna go and micromanage and it's just it's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. And yeah, boy, and it boy, work. it worked. And I well, salute you. No. Oh, thank you. It was a little yeah, interesting well, it was a little interesting to uh, direct remotely. How was that experience for you? Yeah, it, it was kind of, um, at first it was weird, but then I really got into it and I kind of saw like a, an opportunity to like do this like all the time. I don't need to leave my flat, you know. Um, but um, it was weird because I, I kind of felt for you as well, Tim, because like it kind of, normally if I'm there, you know, like you get, you bounce off people and you get ideas, yeah. but it was kind of, I, I'd see you, we'd, you'd be on the, in front of the green screen, then you'd like, then I'd like we'd call it, and then you'd go off into another like room. I didn't know where you'd gone, and I was yeah. like, what, what, "What's happening?" I'd be left on my own with like I know. Charlotte. Well, well it is the, one of the great things about making stuff. I've talked about this before. Is sort of the hang. Like it's fun to just be on set yeah. and hang out with whoever's around and and gossip or you know just talk about whatever, joke around, and that's kind of yeah. gone for the moment. But you know, it was we got it done. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm such, you know, I'm such a big fan. So I kind of like, I was disappointed we couldn't like do it in person. But, um, you know, this is next best thing. So it was all good. And, um, you um, know, you, you put in a great, great performance. And, yeah, um, it was a thing where it took a minute or two to figure out what the vibe, because again, I didn't think about it or plan on it or kind of put much effort into like what it was going to be. But then once you start doing it, you're like, oh, okay, this, we can do it this way and that's going to work and all that stuff. But I was also yeah. impressed with how quickly you turned all that animation around. They did it in like, what was it, less than a month, right? It was about 
Yeah. Well, we did it in two. We did it in two weeks, and two I, weeks. and hats off to um, Alfie Dwyer, the um, the three uh, D artist. Like we worked every day, like you know, all hours, um, getting it done, and and he was amazing. And uh, you know, like it was, yeah, it was pretty insane turnaround time. Like I think it should have taken a lot longer, but we kind of managed to. Yeah, do it. it was it was good. Yeah, I, I, you know, it would have been nice to have more time, but you know, things things were as they were. Well, keep working on it. We'll put out and we'll put out the remastered director's cut yeah. next year. Just keep, yeah. keep toying with it. All right, James, that's our show. I want to end the show Whoa. maybe with the way we would Whoa. end a TV show. So what I what want to do, we? I didn't talk about this. We're going to end the show very special. I'm going to dip down and you're going to stand here. Why? Yeah. And say what you know to say. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, well, but and I'll dip down. I want to thank everybody for joining me. This has been a very fun show. We'll see you in the after hours with my special guest, who's going to take it away now, and we will dip. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, look there. Oh, look there. Okay, sorry. There Absolutely. You there you go. <laughs> All right. Hi, Dad. <laughs> thank you, everybody.